Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to yet another Let's Bone production. This is Frosch Fractions. So without further ado, let's play. If you guys don't know Frog Fractions, it's an amazing game. Absolutely fantastic game, I tell you. Absolutely, it teaches you about fractions. There's a frog in it. It's a really fantastic game. I really highly recommend this game to anyone. Anyone who's really anyone to play Frog Fractions. It's so good. It really is good. I mean, look at this amazing gameplay right here. It's just such such a fantastic, fantastic game. Alright, see, and you get upgrades and stuff. Oh, it's so good. Alright, let's see here. Turtle to a turtle friend. Too expensive. Okay, let's get the tur cybernetic brain. Okay, let's let's do this. Uh, actually, let's get the turtle. Let's get the turtle then. Turtle. And now, see, look, now you can move around. Isn't this great? This is a good game. This is a very good game. I know, I know. How did you not play this already, Bone Clanks? I know, because it's just such a good game. I know, I know, I know, I know. You must be upset that I haven't yet let's bone this, but I am now. So don't worry. Don't worry. I already, I already accepted the key. Don't worry. I accepted it. Don't you worry about that absurd. Very nice game. It's a very high quality game. You gotta, you, just, you know, just enjoy. Enjoy the game. Okay, let's see. What is this? What is this? Okay. Let's get um the cybernetic brain. Okay. So there you go. So most people playing this game would be like, be like, wait, do I just do this the whole time? And they don't ever think to go down. Oh, oh, if you do down, look at this. There's all sorts of fruit down here. Oh, 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 so we got like a billion fruit now. Okay, so I guess we don't have to really, okay. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh, okay. That's nice. That's 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 really cool. Okay. So I guess you can go down then. All right. Nice. I got like we got like a billion fruit now. <laughs> Fucking pro moves. That's all I gotta say. All right. So uh, you know, that's 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 how we do. That's how we do, dog. You know, you just, you just rock it like a champ. Indignity. What is indignity? Oh. Oh, we got more indignity, I guess. I don't know what indignity is. Ugh. There we go. Okay, awesome. So let's see. Static cling tongue. Perfect. Perfect. This is exactly the kind of shit that I'm into. Static clinging all the flies. All of them. Because I'm a fucking frost. I'm the best frost around. Indignity. More indignity. Whoops. Sorry. Whoopsies. This is a great game. This is an amazing game. Such a good game. Alright, you know what? Let's just get the dragon. Then we Fuck this game! Fuck this game. Oh, oh. Oh, God. Whoa! Whoa! You know, you just fly around in your fucking dragon, dude. You're just fucking dragon style. That's the, that's the whole thing. If you want to be a dragon, you're just a stray up dragon like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just champion. Just championing it up. You get the warp drive. No, that's, that's important. Glad you could finally make it, Lieutenant Hop. We're dealing with some serious infestations here. All right, don't worry, I got you, bro. I got you, dog. Boom, boom, boom. I got you, dog. No problemo. I've never seen those bugs shoot anyone but you. I think they might be racist. They are racist bugs, I agree. They're very racist bugs. Very, very racist bugs. I don't like them. I don't like these racists. How dare they? They can't come on my Discord or my Twitch. These racists. Asteroid belt racists. You let the asteroids push you around. We said not to do that. Yeah, don't let them push you around. 
Don't let them push you around, man. There's Bug Mars now, their home planet. Well, let's go take out their home planet. That's important. It's important to take out their home planet. Very, very important. Let's do it, guys. I'm a champion. Champion, Frosh. Champion, Frosh. Yeah. Screw you guys. Alright, let's do it. Don't let them push you around. It's a very important life lesson. Not just for frog fractions, but for life in general. Good flying with you, Lieutenant Hawk. We'll see you on the other side. Uh oh. Okay, we got this. Yeah! 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 I wonder if the, he has any tips about dealing with fractions. I don't know. Let's hope so. Huh. Yeah, you done, fool. You done, dog. You done. You done. Destroy the core. All right, let's destroy the core. Oh shit, the core is really. Oh. Huh. You're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with the intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Okay, this is important. Guilty, not guilty, amphibious. You got the wrong dude. My name is Mr. Leap. Uh, has anyone ever told you you look delicious? Oh God, I'm surrounded by bugs. That's a good question. I don't, I don't know what we should say. Let's say I, I, I don't know. Let's go with amphibious, Your Honor. Are you sure you don't want a lawyer? These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years. Hard labor. But there's a special offer this week. How'd you become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? Ah, uh, you drive a hard bargain. I'll take the labor. Very well. But first, you have to pass a test on our culture and history. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? Uh, crushing enemies and our powerful mandibles, I would say. I can almost feel their bones breaking now. Mm. Next question. On the series Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Um, trick question. Ice cream is unheard of on Bug Mars. I agree. I had to try, didn't I? Four score and twenty bugs ago, Bug in Chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable rights. Um, let's see. The right to own sentient space for your slaves. Is the donation off? What? What? No. Donations on, I think. I didn't get any donations. Cause I'm a big asshole and nobody likes me. Um, no, it's, it's on, it's on, it's right here. Okay, unsettling, isn't it? You never guess just by looking at them, that they're watching and judging our every move. During the Bug War of 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? 420. 420. There you go. There you go. Alright. How do you feel about fractions? Oh man, I love them. I love fractions. Fractions are so awesome. Um, okay. First perfect score. There you go. We're gonna fire you into the sun, but instead we decide to issue a work visa. How about you sign here? YOLO! Nice. Everyone loves the novelty signature. Just ask a bug. Okay. Uh, bone, bone, planks, uh, bone planks, there we go. Alright, Mars fractions are the best fractions, I agree, this is fun. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, what's this? I thought there'd be more fruit down here. I, I guess not. What's what's going on here? Oh. Oh, 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 okay. 
As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end, until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. Oh, okay. Hi, Gildo. How you doing? B movie is so bomb. What? You guys? Did you guys watch it? Oh my god! I can't believe you watched B movie without me. Wow, that's a fucking good movie, dude. Okay, let's see. So it was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637 after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate Sleepless Bill Bishop, to a match, Bishop was the odds on favorite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast, <laughs> Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. No, I didn't lose that many subscribers at all. Ugh. Oh. Oof. Thank you. Just pro moving, you know? Pro moving and grooving. Oh god, why is this happening? Bless the boner. <laughs> It was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game. Officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill, and the rest is history. After a few spoiled sports school moms, single-minded about safety, added the padded gloves, of course. Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would Yo, knock them turtle, in the way up? Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place, but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick. It's the second Usually time I donated $5 nothing happens? What? And though they've achieved the occasional victory, That's weird. None of Thank the you for your donation, though. Enough to make it to the Thank you so much uh, for your donation. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. This is fucking Frog Fractions. You halt your dirty mouth, Gildo. How dare you say it's boring? This is fucking frog fractions. God. Sometimes people just infuriate me. This is fucking frog fractions. Just because you don't know. Oh. See you later, Winkler. Just because you don't know doesn't mean it's boring. It's frog fractions, dog. The real wonder, though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. This is the hard part. I really don't like this part. This this game is amazing, but this this part's really fucking hard. Okay, so after all that, the game becomes a text adventure. And I can never finish the text adventure. I don't know why. It's so fucking hard. I'm just not good at text adventures. Okay. 
Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped, and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings, for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command module. The walls of the circular room curve to meet at the point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control desk. A ladder leads aft. If you don't know how to get started, type help and press enter. Go aft. You clamber across the ladder. Captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the foray. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. Uh, move. Move rug. Moving the rug, you discover a recessed hatch below it. Open hatch. You have to work the added it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Go inside hatch. Okay. Near the engine room. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There is a hatch leading back to the captain's quarter in foray. Uh, look. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Nest, look, wires, I guess? Peering into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can, but that you're guessing doesn't belong there. Take can? You twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've ripped the insulation off an adjacent wire in the process, and it begins sparking as it comes in contact with an adjacent strut. You glance, you glance down at what you've done. Huh, it really is a coffee can. Open. Open can? The can doesn't have a lid. Uh. Uh. Fix wires? I don't know how you want to fix that. Shit. Um. Go up ladder? I don't know. Oh my god. Look. Uh, go hatch. Uh, n go nightstand. Oh God. Uh, look nightstand. Uh, open drawer. Thick manual. Read manual. It's a manual for the navigation computer in the command module. After leafing through, you feel confident you understand how to use the interface well enough to set up a route back to Bug Mars. Okay. Uh, oh God, I don't know. Look. Uh, ladder leads to the foray. Go ladder. Okay. Uh, glowing display. Okay. Go control deck. Okay. Duh. Uh, uh, control deck. Best not to fiddle with the controls. Why? Use control deck. You have to be, what? Oh, na navigate home. Na, wait, what? Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Look, glowing display. Ha <laughs> Um... Go glowing display. <sighs> God damn it. I don't know. Fuck. Okay. Uh, lining the wall. Use glowing display. What the fuck do you want me to do here? What? Go display. Go to... Uh, go porthole, porthole. What? How? Through the port, you can see a pack. Okay, great, fine, whatever. Uh, go display. Examine glowing display. Examine glowing display. I don't understand what he was. What? Display. Oh, good. Okay. 
Shows the map of the galaxy with destination you don't recognize marked. An ETA about 3,000 years. Looking close, you see... Okay. Uh, route... Details. Screen spills forth a slew of steps such as spirals. Spin word, it's bad. These is Oh, okay. Uh, so. You definitely plot a course back to bug Mars. The engine roars and you feel G-Force shift. The ETA reads 50 to okay, okay, come on. And determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through the bug customs. Luckily, you can sleep through most of it. Sleep. Go, Captain's Quarters. Okay. Okay, uh... Go, Sleeping Pod. Okay. You head to the a pillow when an alarm begins to read perfume chamber embry. You will wake up cranky. If you assume it's going to stop eventually, but a couple minutes later it still has and you get up, there's no way you can sleep like this. Perfume chamber empty? What? I don't know. Uh, look. Okay, perfume chamber empty. Hatchway. Go hatchway. Go hatch. Okay. Uh, scoop goop. Use can. Use can to scoop goop. Use can scoop goop. I fucking hate this shit. Uh, goop. Get goop. Unstick goop. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand what they fucking want me to do here. Uh, take. Take goop. I don't know what to do. Um. Okay. Examine goop. Smell goop. What? Use can goop. Okay, great. <laughs> Lick goop. You're not hungry. Use can. Use can. With face. Examine can. An empty coffee can. Look. Look machine. The spigot and those hammer and sheet papers and high seats. Oh! Book sheet. This is out of order. Note included in your game package. What? Flat. The machine consists of a spigot. Use can platform. Use spigot. Use can spigot. Oh my god, look spigot. Machine consists of spigot A into the flat platform. Put can platform. I hate this. I hate this fucking. I hate this fucking thing. I hate this. Hand and shape paper has been hastily taped with a kick. Great. Put can. Use can spigot. Use can with spigot. <gasps> Thank God. Use spigot. This is what I'm supposed to do, but the look great machine. Okay, empty coffee can sitting under the spigot here. Okay. I don't know I don't know what to do now. That that's where you get the perfume, but I don't know how to uh hold 
in the wall, and then that's the wires. I don't know. There's a bear wire in there sparking and makes contact with Jason. Uh. Uh, fix wires with note. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, frost. I don't know. I don't know. I'm always so fucking confused with this goddamn. I hate the text adventure part of this. Rewire wires. No. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for subscribing. 7K35531. I appreciate that. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> let's see here. Um, okay, get oh, oh, <laughs> frosh. Wait, what? Wait, what is really? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm looking at a walkthrough. I'm sorry. Okay, put cans pull lever. Okay, let's. Lever. Thank God. Dispensing one specialty, the machine says. A thick stream of pink goop spreads out. It mostly gets everywhere, but if a can does say end of fill, you grab the can. A few drops land in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. Atmospheric anomaly detected. A different voice says. The whirring sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into an invisible vent, leaving just enough goop in the floating around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified, the voice says triumphantly. Get Zork Mines? What? Get Zork Mids. <laughs> what the fuck does- Oh, push button. The raise button clicks into place and the previous selected button pops up. Local currency says we're by Get Zork Mids. What? Pull- Oh, pull lever. Got it. Dispensing local currency, a voice says. A thick stream of Zork mids shoot out of the faucet, bounce off the flat platform, or sky. Okay. Get Zork mids. You spend a few minutes gathering. Okay, great. Fantastic. Let's get all Enter hatch. Guy, thank you for streaming late. After work, I was hanging out with my 13 month old cousin and got home late. You're welcome. You're welcome, sir. Thanks for the donation. Okay. Put can in hole. I'm doing, I'm just, I'm sorry. You bring the can close to the hole and the hole sucks the pink goop right in. The nearby gauge fills up. Thank God. Uh, enter ladder, push. Okay, wait. Uh, enter ladder. Because I already did all the other shit. Push button. Okay, great. Already did that. Enter ladder. Go sleep. Done. You lie down asleep, sleeping pod, close the lid, and drift off. Secure that the 57 and something years, you'll return to Bugmar as a wealthy frog. When you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You blearily, blearily glance around to get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping on a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already? A wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay! She laughs and claps and you realize that you've been transmogrified into a human form. Oh, good. Perfect. 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 Great. Oh, perfect. This is, this is fantastic. This is great. You wake with a start. What a horrible dream. You call your friend Draggy the Flying Dragon just to talk to someone. Yellow, Draggy says. I just had the worst nightmare. You explain the situation. 
I'm not sure that a support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following, Draggy ponders. Maybe if we drummed up a little publicity first. I know just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door, dressed to the nines. He tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. <laughs> Candidates hop. What say you to allegations that you're not a natural-born citizen? That you're under 35 and that you're a frog. Oh, dance off. That's what I say. Motherfucking dance off. Fuck, this is hard. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Ah! Ah! Just do it! Let me get it! God damn it! Ah! Oh man, you smoked him. You're shooting for president. Woo! and denominators. Here's your bug coffee, Mr. President. Heavy on the cream. Okay, uh, let's see here. Bug economy manager. Weather reports sunny, bug assets, yada yada yada, costs to produce bug porn, 10,000 zork mids, megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? Uh, you know, something like that. Come on, let's be reasonable now. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? Fine. Just, just one less then. Unfortunately, you only have two million Zork mids, and that would require blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. Then we'll do that many. Are you fucking kidding me? The 99 then. How many pop-up banner ads do you want to create? Uh, let's do like 99. Like that. Are you fucking kidding me? How about just 50 then? Let's do 50. What price do you want to charge for a megabit of bug porn? <clears throat> Something like that. Oh, God damn you and everything you stand for. Thanks, but uh, I'm into ladybugs. Juvenile bugs posing as health inspectors gave your product a thumbs up. Everybody wants to see. Bugs marveled at your low prices and kept coming to your door long after you ran out of porn. You made 99 megabits of bug porn at 10,000 a megabit. You sold 99 megabits of bug porn at 9,999 a megabit. Budget, blah, 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 GDP, blah, 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 blah. Profit minus, oh, Jesus Christ. Did I really fuck up? How many Zorkmits do you want to order the food? Okay, let's let's do that. I guess we'll let your successor worry about the inflation problems. Okay. Oh, good. I don't know if you can see here. Um, let's see here. Let's uh let's uh let's uh do this uh, satellites. Yeah, that's good. Okay, weather forecast, drug in the water sp yeah, that's good. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, hot and dry. Good, good, good. 
Uh, let's let's make uh that many. Yeah. No. Okay. Fine. This many. Yeah. 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 Okay. That many. Sure. Charge more for your products than it costs to produce. Okay. Great. So we'll, we'll do like uh, that. I prefer something more uh Okay, very good. The bug porn sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. The bug porn sensors bought all your bug porn at lunchtime. You made four to blah, 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 blah. It's okay, great. So, good, okay. okay. So how many Zork mids do you, do you... Okay, so how about this much? That's good. Yeah, okay, great. Let's get uh, this one right here. Okay. Dun da 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 dun dun da 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 dun dun da da da. Okay, oh uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, an outbreak of bug, an outbreak of frog STDs. Oh fuck, that's not good. Let's uh, let's let's make a uh, yeah yeah that many. Okay, oh, yeah yeah that many. Okay, I want to charge that. No no. Okay, how about uh, just uh, that much? Impressive wingspan. <laughs> Bugs seem unaware of porn today? What? How could they? How many Zork mids do you want the Okay, let's make that many. Yeah, good. Good, good. Alright. Um, how about this? Lock on targeting. Yeah, okay. That's good. Um, wait, what? Padlocks. Oh, perfect. Alright, good, good, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Um. So let's let's make uh nine hundred. Okay. All right. Fine. We'll make we'll make this many. This many, and that many. Oh, fine. 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 Relax. Just do yourself. You cannot my bug porn in your bug porn. What the porn? What the porn? I agree. I agree. You're right. You're right. My fault. You sold zero. Oh Jesus Christ. How about that many? Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's get uh, a presidential swimming pool. Yeah, that's good. I, that's what I want. <laughs> My 13 month nephew loves to go down slides, but then he tries to climb back up it but can't. This is nice. I guess we go down. Bug porn. 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 Club penguin. I don't know about that. They would ban me. Bug porn now, more bug porn, give me the bug porn, more bug porn, give me the bug porn, more bug porn, give me the bug porn, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. More bug porn. Bug porn. Bug porn. Bug porn. What is this? Bandwidge, what is this? I'm very worried that this is gonna be something bad. 
Okay, that... This is Frog Fractions. This was Frog Fractions. Okay, this was Frog Fractions.